Hey guys, what's up? It is the middle of the week and I am getting my bathroom good and clean. I haven't cleaned it in like two or three weeks. Um, the girls are taking a nap right now and it is perfect timing for me to come and tackle our guest bathroom. It's just such a mess. They need to be swept and mopped and sanitized. The bath needs to be washed and the showers, the sink, the toilets, washing everything, getting the glass done, everything deep cleaning of our guest bathroom. So I hope you enjoy, and if you enjoy our cleaning videos, give us a thumbs up so I can know to make more. Here is a quick overview of the mess that's been in the bathroom for a few weeks. There's residue in the bathtub and there's like old um, shampoo and conditioner bottles. There's urine around the toilet, there's old towels laying around, there's Sugary Marie's hair stuff, there's toothbrushes and toothpaste, um, there's water splatters and toothpaste splatters all over the mirror. It's just a mess. So first things first, here we go. Um, just picking up all the towels, the hand towels, the face towels, the bath towels, and I'm going to wash them. And I wash them with extra soap, extra laundry soap, and fabric softener. So I even wash the rug also. So um, when I put everything back, everything that's like for decor, it smells super bomb in my bathroom. I love it. I am first taking everything off of the countertops, all of the hair stuff and the toothpaste and toothbrushes, putting all that stuff in the correct drawers where they need to go, and I am um, getting in the shower and getting that big tub of stuff that was out. That's um, bath toys and Layla's bathtub that obviously doesn't fit anymore because she's almost one. I am also loading it up with the shampoo and conditioner and body wash and baby wash bottles that are in there. I'm pretty much getting everything out of there, out of the bathroom. All the decor and I already got the towels and rugs, I'm getting her potty chair, I'm getting everything, filling that tub up and getting it out of the way. Here I'm taking the last of my Lysol liquid and pouring just the smallest amount, maybe like a teaspoon into my sink, plugging the sink up and then filling it up with water, hot or cold water, it doesn't matter. I normally do a mixture of both, warm water, and then I poured the rest into my toilet. Had to stop and put my hair up because I was getting sweaty. Now I am adding the toilet bowl cleaner, which is the Clorox clinging bleach to the rim of the toilet. And I like this stuff, it works pretty good. Here is some Clorox Centivia or Centiva um, bath, bathtub and bathroom spray. I literally spray this everywhere in the bathroom. Sometimes when I don't wanna use my Swiffer mop wet pads, I'll spray this all over the floor when I clean it, even in the kitchen, guys. It smells really bomb too. I sprayed it all inside the shower, all over the um, countertops, on the toilet, on the outside of the toilet, the toilet commode, the back side of the toilet. It smells super good.
So now that the toilet bowl cleaner has been sitting inside of the toilet for the past few minutes, I am giving it a good scrub with my toilet bowl cleaner. And I got it from the dollar store. I'm pretty impressed with it. The only con about it is the handle is pretty flimsy. Um, now I'm cleaning the toilet with the Clorox bleached disinfecting wipes. I always prefer to use wipes so I can just throw them right away anytime I'm dealing with a toilet. Now I'm taking my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray in lavender scent, which I love. It smells so good. And I'm just giving my uh, shower one final spray. Now I'm taking my handy dandy Mrs. Meyers clean day vinegar no rinse gel. This stuff is magic. It takes away any odors or any kind of smells. I literally use it every time I clean my kitchen. I use it in my kitchen sink and my bathtub sink or the bathtub the drain and I just spray a couple of pumps in there and it takes away any odors, any smells, anything you can smell that's not supposed to be there. It just completely takes it away and it's no rinse gel so you don't even have to rinse after that. Now we're almost done with the whole bathroom. I am doing some finishing touches and getting all of that toothpaste residue and water residue off of the mirror and I'm literally cleaning every single inch of the mirror even that little silver band that you see down there and the faucet I'm using the method mirror spray it's just like Windex but it doesn't smell like ammonia and I love it I absolutely love it Again here, I'm using the Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface Spray in Lavender. I'm wiping down the cabinets and the drawers. I'm giving those a, just a really good scrub. Even if you don't have any multi-surface spray, you can use bleach, you can use Lysol, you can use soap and water. You can even just use hot water and that's it. Um, I'm getting ready to mop with my Swiffer Wet Mop rags or whatever they're called, the cloths. Those work really well. The only thing I don't like about them is that they use a lot I have to use a lot of them in my kitchen I think I have to use four or five of them and in the small bathroom right here I used two of them so those big boxes that I get from Costco they run out really really fast so it's been a few minutes the floor is nice and dry uh, the towels and the rugs are out of the washer and dryer. I mean, obviously it's been like two hours, but um, I'm spraying the shower curtain with Glade. That smell that I sprayed went away like within 20 minutes, so I don't even know why I sprayed it. But I'm laying the rug down. That's the cutest rug ever, and it's super soft on my feet. I got that from Target, and those towels they are threshold also from Target I obviously don't use them to when I get out of the shower but I use them for decoration I really really like them they're new I believe they're still in store so is the rug and the shower curtain those are all from Target there's a lot of Hobby Lobby stuff in my bathroom and there's also a lot of thrifted Goodwill and yard sale things in my bathroom so now all's left to do is just hang up the towels and put the decor back. There was a couple of tweaks and changes that I did with the decor but I ended up happy with where everything was at and I really really enjoy our bathroom. It's a little bit feminine. It's not um, masculine at all. I think it's pretty neutral. I think that faux flower right there gives the bathroom the perfect touch of feminineness, especially since there's three women living in this house. And it's perfect for boys and girls. I have a feeling my string of beads from Hobby Lobby are going to be placed all sorts of places throughout the house. There's already a perfect spot in Layla's nursery that I want to put those, but I think they're really appropriate in the bathroom for right now. So we'll see in the next couple of weeks where they end up. 
and then probably after that spot they'll probably get switched to another spot also. <laughs> I'm crazy like that. Cutest basket ever for toilet paper. Those three pottery jars are from Hobby Lobby and they were part of the spring collection that was 90% off. So I got those for like $3 for all of them. That relax sign was from a yard sale. Look how cute my bathroom is. I love everything. The girls love it too. Thank you for watching you guys. Uh, my bathroom smells amazing. You need like smell-o-vision or something because it smells really, really good and fresh. I'm glad I got it over with and it's perfect timing because both of the baby girls are just waking up. Here's all of the products that I used in my cleaning today. Thank you so much for watching with us. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and give us a thumbs up and uh, message me if you want me to do any kind of videos that you think would be interesting or fun. Thank you so much guys. Bye.